Okay. This is the second part of the video about how to make your own sheet metal car. Here's the quarter panel for the Dodge Monaco. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over all your pen lines or pencil, whichever one you chose to use, with marker. Straighten it all up with your ruler and everything. Get it all nice. Basically, that's the quarter panel. I left it as basic as I could. I'm going to meet the front door up with it and then the front fender out way out here. So, what you want to do is you're going to want to transfer this to your poster board. piece of sheet metal. I mean it is all beat up and everything so it's not going to be the world's prettiest base car. That's all I got. So I'm going to try to get as much of the pretty pieces in there as possible. Watch this. This has to continue throughout the entire bend. I mean, this is a flat area. And I'm just going to put a window here, so that's all the curvatures you're going to need for this part. But do not forget at the top of the roof to draw you a tab. This is where you will bend it, this corner piece right there. Right there. That tab, when you bend it down, will give you a place to mount the roof. You have to have that tab. This panel is now ready to cut out. Either go to your local hardware store, get you some tin snips, some super scissors. These would be like the hardest to use, but they'd work. Or a pair like this. Regular good old metal shears. Now, good start. Right here. Cut the panel right in the middle of the black line, preferably. Don't cut the entire black line off because when you put the stencil up there and trace it, it does bleed under the stencil a little bit. So, the middle of the black line would be best. Honestly, this could be a project for when you're bored or whatever. You can, wherever it is flat, you can add a straight across flat tab. Just like that, you know. It doesn't hurt to have more tabs. Just makes your car stronger, you know. And with the uh, Roscoe P. Coltrane police car, I do want it to be strong because I want it to be in more than one video. <laughs> I mean, it's understandable you'd want it to fold up like a taco the absolute first time, or the driver's door just fall off. Whenever you just tap it, it just goes, psh, falls off. But, you know, that would destroy the structure integrity of my car. Keep cutting. It does get a little difficult when you're cutting out the tabs. That's why when you shark tooth it, you can do it pretty quick. You can take it and just cut along the top of the teeth in the curvature, and then go back and shark tooth it if you want. I saved just enough metal to make a door. Look at that. See how a door has to be up and down like that. I can make the door. Perfect piece. Once you've transferred all of your paper stencils, 
over to poster board. They'll be more durable and they'll stay around longer. You can lay them all out. Make sure they all fit nice. rim, exploded tire, that's what I use. Just lay it in the wheel well. It'll fit, man. I've already got both quarter panels cut. I will go ahead and do these two. Whenever you make a panel, you trace it out on the sheet metal, and then when you want to make the other side, you just flip it around, trace it, and cut it, bend all the tabs down, everything. And you'll have two sides of the car with one set of stencils. Just so you can see how the fitment's going to be. That'd be about like that. Using a spare rim from the General. Has new tires now. This now gives you a place to mount your hood. Flat spot, you just put glue on there. Figure out how wide your car is going to be. You lay the sheet metal across, you know, you cut it. You have a hood. And this is two fully completed side panels. They match up, at least good enough. One Dodge Monaco. It didn't take very long at all to make those. Honestly, it's just like making stuff out of construction paper. If you can make it out of paper, you can probably make it out of thin gauge sheet metal. 
Honestly, I don't know the gauge of this. I know it's pretty thin. I mean, you can bend it. Pretty easy to fold stuff. Or I could just make a limousine. Just freaking make another door and place it in there. Just make a square door. Limousine. no to that okay I will start the assembly process showing you how you take the back side of your panels take little metal tabs and glue them to each and clamp it so then you'll end up with one solid side panel now if any of y'all are wondering I make these in pieces like quarter panel door fender so if a section is damaged, I don't have to replace the entire side of the car. I can just replace the broken fender, smash door, or whatever. You know. It's just, plus it gives it the right kind of lines later on, you know, because it's got actual breaks in the metal and the, it just gives it a nice effect.